हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज योर फ्रेंडली नेबरहुड पीडियाट्रिशियन डॉक्टर आदित्य भट्ट एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अ बिट अबाउट न्यूरोक्यूटेनियस सिंड्रोम्स सो फर्स्ट वी विल बिगिन विथ न्यूरोफाइब्रोमाटोसिस टाइप 1 एंड वन कॉमन एमसीक्यूज दैट आर आस्क्ड इन एनएफ1 इज दैट द मोस्ट कॉमन सीएनएस ट्यूमर इज एस्ट्रोसाइटोमा इट इज अ ऑटोसोमल डोमिनेंट कंडीशन विद इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ 17q एंड द म्यूटेटेड प्रोटीन इज न्यूरोफाइब्रोमिन Now, uh, statistically, NF1 is around 10 times more common than NF2, and there are uh, to make the diagnosis of NF1, there you have to fulfill two or more criteria from the following. So, first is more than six cafe ulus spots, more than or equal to six cafe ulus spots, and they should be bigger than five mm uh, in prepubertal and fifteen uh, mm, uh, more than fifteen mm in pubertal. More than or equal to two neuro neurofibromas or any presence of any one plexiform neurofibroma. Now, this neurofibromas may develop uh, during pregnancy or adolescence, but plexiform neurofibromas are usually present at birth. Now, the third uh, thing required is axillary fracturing, axillary or inguinal fracturing. Uh, fourth is optic pathway gliomas. Uh, now, fifth is uh, more than or equal to Lish nodules. Now, usually statistically, if we see. Uh, more than 20 years all patients of neurofibromatosis 1 have lish nodules 100% presence after the age of 20 21 years and sixth point is uh, presence of any osseous lesions like sphenoid dysplasia or thinning of uh, thinning co thin cortex of long bones and the last one is presence of any first degree relative with the same condition now there is one more phenomenon in uh, nf1 that is called as ubu ubu is a unidentified bright spot seen on brain mri and it usually uh, disappears by the age of 30 years uh, no significance is not known and it may exacerbate during puberty the second disease that we are uh, considering is nf2 uh, it is a autosomal dominant condition uh, involvement of 22q and the protein is merlin protein and for the diagnosis you need either uh, bilateral vestibular schwannomas or uh, first degree and first degree relative with nf2 and there are there is a presence of multiple uh, tumors that i'll post uh, that you please go through and a posterior subcapsular uh, lenticular opacity posterior subcapsular lenticular opacity might be seen in neurofibromatosis too now other disease is tuberous sclerosis which is a autosomal dominant condition which is the triad of seizure mental retardation and facial angiofibromas and common things we see in tuberous sclerosis are chagrin patch hypomelanotic uh, ash leaf macules periungual uh, fibromas uh, usually seen in adults and lamb like uh, lamb uh, which is seen more, mostly in uh, women uh, renal angiomyelopathies and cardiac rhabdomyomas now one of the most specific tumors of tuberous sclerosis brain is a sega sub ependymal giant cell astrocytoma which is sensitive to rapamycin and another commonly asked mcq is the drug of choice for infantile spasm usually is uh, acth but in conditions uh, associated with tuberous sclerosis with infantile spasm the drug of choice is vigabatrin now vigabatrin usually causes optic field uh, abnormalities that's why it is not used in uh, cases of infantile spasm that are not associated with tuberous sclerosis Now uh, another disease is called as von Hippel Landau. Von Hippel Landau is the only neurofibro or uh, neurocutaneous condition which has no cutaneous manifestation. I don't know why is it included in this. Uh, VHL uh, is associated with chromosome three and it is it has presence of uh, hemangioblastomas in cerebellum and spinal cord along with pheochromocytomas and RCC. Renal cell cancer is the most common cause of death in uh, von Hippel Landau. It is also autosomal dominant condition. Now another uh, another disease is Sturge Weber. Sturge Weber has presence of port wine stain, whose for picture I'll post. Uh, in a V1 uh, region of the trigeminal nerve, there is uh, occipital uh, area, leptomeningeal venous angiomas, and presence of glaucoma. Now glaucoma is usually present on the same side of the lesion. while the tram track calcification of uh, sturge weber is on the opposite side of port wine stain and it is usually associated with intractable seizures and the last disease that we will cover today is ataxia telangiectasia it is a autosomal recessive condition uh, chromosome 14 atm gene involvement and it has uh, as the name suggests ataxia dysarthria all the signs of involvement of cerebellum with telangiectasias that are present uh, which uh, usually present by the age of 3 to 6 years 
and uh, the patient also have oculomotor apraxia now this patients also have uh, immunodeficiency and presence of lymphomas and leukemias and if you do their immunoglobulin assay usually IgA IgG and IgE is decreased uh, guys that's all for today and if you like this lecture please give a like and thumbs up and share and subscribe uh, it means a lot to me thank you